Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series, Retro Carded Cobra Commander, and Once a Man Cobra Commander. So let's get this started! So before we get this started, big shout out to DJC Collectibles for hooking me up with Retro Carded, Cobra Commander, and Hasbro Pulse. So as you can see here, I have a new setup. I have a wider background. I set up a little display here of my vintage G.I. Joe VHS movie and some vintage figures from that movie. So before we open up Retro Carded, Cobra Commander here. We're going to open up our Once a Man Cobra Commander. This is the first time I'm going to be looking at this in hand and I'm breaking the seal as we speak. And I am excited to open up this figure. So we're just going to take the shipper off here. And look at the fancy packaging. I'm pretty sure everybody has seen the artwork on this box, which is really awesome. It has a lenticular cover here, which is really cool. It changes from a snake to Cobra Commander, halfway changed. You got Lieutenant Falcon, you got Roadblock with the fully transformed Cobra Commander, Globulus. And we got Nemesis Enforcer up in the corner. Very cool. We got little spores coming out. And as a child, man, this movie was awesome to me. I really like the sci-fi aspect of this movie. I know that not every Joe fan loves this movie. So on the back of the packaging here, same artwork, but no lenticular. You get a better look at... Cobra Commander changing into a snake man. You got boring stuff on the bottom. Number 130 in the line. Got some awesome artwork on this side. Very cool. And you got a little window at the top. And there's some Velcro and it's not sealed. It's just put the, it's just held together with some Velcro. Very cool display. Check that out. That looks really awesome. And with some really cool artwork here of one of the scenes in the movie. There is Globulus in his little, or <laughs> very large kind of plant thing. <laughs> it's hard to say, it flies around. Very cool. Look, there's Nemesis Enforcer here flying. And he's in this kind of weird fleshy clam. <laughs> and you can see all the accessories displayed out very cool and uh, I don't know why Roblox is here that is a kind of a weird choice I guess just to uh, kind of emphasize that there is a snake kind of accessory here fully transformed Cobra Commander all right guys let's go ahead and uh, take a look and open up once a man Cobra Commander very cool I can't wait to take this out of the packaging very carefully. And definitely these this package is very collector friendly. If you could put Cobra Commander back in the package. And definitely gonna be keeping this. So here's a quick shot of halfway transformed once a man Cobra Commander in the plastic. So let me take out the figure and all the accessories and we'll take a closer look. So quick rundown of the accessories. We got the Cobra Commander faceplate here that uh, has a really cool kind of cracked type of uh, detail on the mask. Very freaking cool. Even details on the inside, like he sees through the little red dots. Very cool. We got his laser pistol. It has a little detail there. Check that out. Very cool, man. This thing is awesome, both sides. Next we have his little knife here with a silver blade, black handle. Then there's also another paint application at the uh, nub of this weapon. Very cool, man. And we have gripping hands here. 
We got a pointing hand right here. Very cool. And we got a, we got two fisting hands. Awesome. And we have his backpack. Cool silver detail. You can put the weapon on this backpack. You got a peg. And we got the masked Cobra Commander. Very cool. Has the white stripe on the top. And we'll do a nice comparison with retro carded Cobra Commander. Let's take a look at fully transformed Cobra Commander here. <laughs> He's uh, basically a, a straight up snake with arms, a Cobra, I guess. Check out the paint detail on that. It has uh, some nice sculpting of scales. Check out that face. Freaking gnarly. This creeped me out as a child. Check out that. That is nasty. Got that kind of blue eyes. Got the snake eyes. <laughs> He's kind of like this yellow and a kind of mustard yellow. His arms uh, move at the shoulders, but no uh, elbows. And the snake body is kind of coiled up here. Very cool paint job. This is creepy as hell. Let's take another closer look at his head. Check out that pink mouth and that little tongue there. He doesn't really have any fangs. They're kind of retracted back, I'm guessing. It would have been cool if he had some fangs. So there you have it. There is fully transformed Cobra Commander. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at halfway transformed once a man cobra commander and take a look straight to his face same kind of details as the fully transformed cobra commander he has that kind of blue highlight around the eyes and whatnot same kind of color very cool he has this uh torn jacket um, i'm pretty sure it's removable check out the the detailing here the scales very cool, double jointed, pinless. And this will be a one time sculpt. I'm assuming, unless they're going to put it out on a retro card, I wouldn't doubt it. Moving down, you can see he has a traditional ab crunch. Very cool. Got a peg there down on the waist. And you got some clean ass pants here, man. Got the red stripe going down. You have his knife sheath, thigh knife sheath here, which is kind of loose. A little, little dirty here. Got some, but the shoes are like shiny new, unfortunately. I wish it was a little bit more dirty, maybe a little bit ripped. Would have been a nice detail. You can see a half torn uh, cobra symbol here. Very cool on the back, torn. But uh, yeah, <laughs> articulation is really good. It's not loose. And it's pretty much the same type of articulation. All classified has the drop downs are pretty good. Like they don't drop down as much, which I don't mind because it looks, when it drops down too much, it's a little janky. Got trigger finger, black gloves. You got these race, bracelets they must come off when you uh, take his hands off very cool figure let's go ahead let's go ahead and swap out the head there you go and then we have the regular cobra commander head mast that looks pretty sweet no pop though and you got the, uh, I forgot to mention that it has two uh, ball pegs there at the, at the neck. Very cool. It rides a little bit high with the collar. But overall, it looks really freaking cool. Love this figure. Let's go ahead and put the backpack on. And I'm wondering if the mask is swappable with this one. Or is it just this mask fits on top of the snake head maybe. Yeah, I think it just fits like on the snake head like that. Uh, 
I'm not 100% sure, or it just goes over the top of this. Hard to say. It's the first time doing this, first time looking at this, and I did not watch any review. Laser pistol fits in his hand really good. Laser pistol fits in the backpack here. Kind of just presses in just like that. And the backpack fits like that, just like the old school one. And we have a knife. Fits in the sheath here. Perfect. Oh, that looks cool. So there you have it, guys. There is my quick little review of what's a man cobra commander so let's go ahead and open up retro carded cobra commander the retro carded cobra commander has all the same accessories except for the figure stand and uh i think there is a maybe a paint difference with the knives um one has kind of like a red copper type of uh nub to it and it's a little bit smaller maybe i'm not sure if this is the exact same knife same mold maybe definitely the knife is different check that out and his laser pistol is exactly the same thing with the same kind of red detail here so here is retro carded cobra commander uh first off you know awesome freaking mask check that out it's so shiny uh it's kind of vac metalized um let me know if it's if it's vac metalized or not, or it's maybe it could be a sticker. I'm not 100% sure. We got the uh, light blue collar, which is like in the cartoon, and the stripe at the top of the helmet. Really awesome, freaking sculpting on this figure. Very cool. Check that out. Same exact type of articulation. The knee, the elbow is uh, <laughs> a little seized up here. It's very tight but uh, I'd rather have a tight figure than a loose figure. Um, a little loose in the diaphragm area. I like the white belt, very cool. This is um, reminiscent of the cartoon, like I keep on saying. And uh, the color, let's just go ahead and just do a comparison with Once a Man, Cobra Commander. Unfortunately, I do not have the His Tank Cobra Commander to compare this to. Um, I do not have the his tank, unfortunately, but it seems like it is the same pants, but in a different blue. I don't know how this looks on camera, but you can see the retro carded Cobra Commander is darker. Same mold of the pants, like I was saying, but just in a slightly different blue. And let's go ahead and do a comparison with the first version of Cobra Commander in the classified line. Um, it is def definitely different as these, uh, the arms are pinned and most likely the legs are pinned as you can see there, hideous pin, but let's cover that up. So I'm, th I'm thinking that the retro carded Cobra Commander is the superior Cobra Commander. I really like this one a lot, uh, especially with the uh, vac metalized mask, which is really cool. So let me know which Cobra Commander do you like the most in the comments down below. Let's put Cobra Commander on his figure stand and let's gear him up. Start off with the knife. I like how the knife sheath I don't have to mess with it too much. It's up on his thigh. Check that out. So apologies, I have a wider angle here so I could uh, bring it a lot farther. You can, see, you can tell there's a lot of distance between the camera and the figure, which is awesome. I should have I should have done this a long time ago. And let's not forget his backpack. I had to pick it off the floor. <laughs> let's do a quick comparison. Definitely different type of blue, same exact mold. And let's put his laser pistol in his backpack or charging case or whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure this is where it charges up, which is very cool. And the backpack charging case. 
a lot tighter to put in. Very cool. This figure is awesome. My favorite so far. Let's do a zoom in here. Check that out. And there's the vintage one in the background. Nemesis Enforcer. <laughs> So there you have it guys, there is my review of Cobra Commanders. <laughs> very cool, I am very happy with all these Cobra Commanders. Give me more, more Cobra Commanders. Give me a hooded Cobra Commander, come on, Hasbro, come on. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all my subscribers, you guys are freaking amazing. I hope you enjoyed my review. Yo-Jo and Cobra!